salute to you all. The brave never fall. And on this podcast, I certain podcasts, I feel like there'll be topics where they have a direction and a purpose to them and a goal and a journey and a path. But this one is like some of the ones I will do just off the cuff. And I don't know where I really want to go with it. But I always feel like when you're feeling a certain type of way, the best thing you could do is not hold it in and let it out. And it's a October day. It's a beautiful day outside. It looked like it wanted to storm earlier. Cloud cover, really windy. Now the sun's out. And I've had every emotion you can think of from the time I woke up until this point, which is about halfway through the day. And I just had a lot of time to think. And one of the things I always think about is discipline. And how important that really is. And not only how important it is, but how essential it is for every human being on this planet to have discipline in their life. And maybe not with everything, but with the most important things in each person's life. So if you're a person who procrastinates a lot, you want discipline on that. You want to make sure that's not something that's going to take you out of a situation uh, negatively. You know, procrastination obviously is something that a lot of people deal with. So if you get disciplined about it, it's not an issue. And that was something I I procrastinated a whole ton in my life. That was one of the things I used to cannot stand about myself is I would procrastinate. And I still, every once in a while, fall back on that. But that's something I stay disciplined about. When something needs to be done, not only do I do it, I do it 100% and I try to do it more than 100%. But that's just an example. Discipline in itself is a form of self-love. Because I think a lot of people always look at that word like you're punishing yourself. And it's not. Discipline obviously has two different meanings. You know, there is the disciplinary side of it. But there's also the act of discipline. The self-awareness of it. The balance in you to make sure that you are pushing yourself every single day to go further. And the only way you can do that is with discipline. You can't go further if you're standing still. Discipline makes you move. It makes you push harder. It makes you fight. It makes you stronger, braver, wiser, more intelligent about everything that's going on around you. You become more self-aware about everything that's going on because you know you're doing the right thing and you know you're disciplined. Discipline and self-love... Go hand in hand with me. When you have self-love, the hardest thing in the world can punch you right in the gut. And it's going to hurt. But you do not fall. You may bend over. You may cry. You may feel like there's no worse pain in the world. But what you're not going to do is you're not going to fall down. You're going to endure that pain. And as quickly as possible, you're going to get back up meaning you're just going to if you're bent over you stand up straight you make sure no one ever sees you fall you may take a knee but you're never going to fall flat on the ground you stand up and whatever hit you you say do it again because this time I'm, I'm a lot more prepared for it I know I can handle it so if that's all you got that's not enough Now, if you apply that concept to almost every single thing that goes on in your life that hits you right in the gut and knocks you off your feet to your knee, almost flattening you, when you don't think you can take it, but you do take it, you can apply that to anything, to anything in life for each individual when you think it's the toughest thing ever, when you believe life can't get any harder. When you believe people have abandoned you and walked out on you when you needed them the most. After a while, you start to realize, you know, I could take it personally. And maybe you should. Some people, it's hard not to take it personal, depending on who did it. Or you can take that mentality and say, 
The next time this happens, I'm far more prepared. I can see it coming before it even gets here. And only through discipline will you be able to see it. Because you're more aware now. You'll be disciplined. You'll be ready to protect yourself through discipline. You'll know, I don't ever want to feel like that again. And I will never give anyone the power to make me feel like that again. And it's doable. Because I'm doing it right now. There's something that's happened in my life that is so painful that it's hard to even put it into words. And I'm not going to say what that is because I think that is part of the problem with society is that everybody's always spilling out their problems to people. And that's fine. But for the purpose of this video, I don't want it to be about me. This video is about you. Just know whatever I'm going through is the equivalent of someone dying, even though no one died. It hurts. I could have stayed in bed this morning. I didn't get any sleep last night. I get up early every morning. I get up at 3.30 every single morning, no matter what, work or not, I get up at 3.30. Again, discipline. And I could have chose to stay in bed. I could have chose to cry and give up, but I didn't. I got my ass up, I took a shower, took a walk, cleared my mind, listened to some motivational podcasts, and now I'm making this video for you. And the reason why I needed to do this is because it would be selfish of me to overcome what I did this morning to get to this point where I actually feel better and I understand whatever happened to me, it's not the end of the world. I'm still breathing. The sun did come out today. Yes, it was cloudy. Yes, it was ugly this morning. But the sun's out right now. And it's just a reminder that no matter what you're going through, that sun's going to come out. It always comes out. It may, be, it may be covered with clouds, but it's out there. You have to believe that the next day is going to be better. You just have to get through those first few hours where it feels like there's no escape from the doom and the dread and the frustration and the pain and the anger and the rage that you're in. You have to understand that no storm lasts forever. You're going to get through it. It's going to be bumpy. It's going to be ugly. It's going to hurt. And you're never going to want to do it again. But odds are, if you live a long life, you're going to endure something equivalent to that again. Your mind is going to want to challenge you in certain ways to not think so much about what's going on, but offer a solution to what's going on and to take your, your mind and your body to a different place that's more positive. Your brain is very smart. And that's where the discipline comes in as well. Because a lot of time for me, I feel the discipline in my heart. I feel in my heart when I'm not doing something right or I need to do something harder, I need a bigger challenge, I'm just getting by. I feel that in my heart. But my mind tells me, you know, you should take a break. You've done a lot. You've done so much. Just relax. Don't worry about this. This person is okay. This person's okay. But at the same time, I feel in my heart that it's not right. So your body and your mind are fighting against each other a lot of times. It's not always the case. I, it is very challenging to take your thoughts and concentrate, really focus and concentrate on something that you want, that you want to do, that you haven't done, that you don't want. Things like that. It's very hard because if, if your mind starts racing, especially if you have anxiety like I do, I don't take medication for my anxiety. I, I deal with it naturally. I choose to do it. I know I should probably be on some medication, but I choose to do most things naturally. I try not to take any drugs at all, any medications, nothing. Uh, I don't even drink alcohol anymore. I like being in the world, not numb, facing these problems and feeling these emotions because I can't help anybody if I don't know what it feels like. If I don't know what you guys are going through, you guys and gals, what you're going through, then how can I help you? I need to feel it. And it's this channel, The Brave Never Fall, is not about me. It's about you. I've been through a hell of a lot in my life. And one of the things that I've always struggled with was trying to stay focused on things that are positive and not only focus on things that are negative. I have a natural way of trying to deal with negative things because I love overcoming negative things. I love turning negative things into positives. 
especially the ones that are not in my control. There's nothing better in the world than being honest with yourself and saying, I'm not in control of this situation at all. There's nothing I can do about it. But what if, just what if I get through this problem, this negative problem, and on the other side, it's a positive outcome, positive energy, something I can look back and say, yeah, I was scared shitless during the time it was happening, but right now I'm standing tall in positivity and a positive light, and people are going to not only acknowledge that, but they're going to feed off that because the happier I am, the happier the people who are closest to me are going to be happy. But I can't be a happy person if I'm constantly drowning in negative thoughts and negative feedback from my own body. There's nothing worse than that because you feel like your body's betraying you. You feel like your mind and your heart and your body is betraying you when you don't understand why you feel a certain way. And being disciplined is one of those things that alleviates all that. Now, I'm not saying you're not going to have a day like I'm having today where I am about as down as I could possibly be for who I am. I am one of the most positive people you ever meet. I always turn negatives into positives. I always look at the bright side of everything. But I would be a fool to say that I don't have days where I'm in complete, utter darkness and sadness, depression, anxiety, you name it. That is part of the journey. I don't care how confident you are, how disciplined you are, how much you have accomplished, how much money you have, how well your relationship is going. You are going to have days where you doubt everything about you, yourself, your situation. And it is up to you and only you, no one else's responsibility to pull yourself out of that and accept the fact that it happened for a reason. The only way you can grow, you have to suffer and go through things that are uncomfortable and you can go two years and have the greatest life ever. And something out of nowhere is going to come and bring you back down to earth and remind you, you know what? You flatline. It's time to make you overcome something. That's just the way life is. And the good thing about it is no matter what's going on, it hurts. And it's painful. And it's hard to deal with. And your mind is going to race. And your heart's going to hurt. And you're going to have knots in your stomach. And you're going to be unsure of yourself. And you're going to feel like a failure. You're going to feel like your body and your mind is betraying you. But what you cannot do ever, 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 ever do is succumb to all those feelings. I don't give a damn if it happens for hours. I don't give a damn if it happens for years. You have to be aware that that sun is going to come out again. And the only way you can do that is through discipline. You have to trust that you are going to make it through this. And you're going to be happier and stronger and better all the way around once you get to that other side. But that storm is not going to go away unless you walk through it. If you stand still, the storm is just going to fry you. It's going to electrocute you to death. It's going to rain all over you. You're going to stand in darkness and you're never going to get anywhere. Because the storm is going to keep pushing you back. You have got to push back against that storm and you keep walking towards that light, which is the sun. It's a new day. Darkness never lasts forever. If you understand that, if you keep it in your heart to understand that, you keep it in your mind that you push through every single negative thing that pops up in your life and you say, I'm going to survive. You say it and you own it in your mind and your heart. And that's through discipline. You have to keep doing it every minute, every hour. Do whatever it takes to make sure that that next hour is a little bit easier than the hour before. You keep doing it, you will harden up. The mind will harden. Your heart will harden in a good way. There's not, nobody says having a hard heart is a bad thing. Having a soft heart will get you hurt in this world. Having a soft mind will get you hurt. You have to harden up as a person. And trust yourself to get through it. Hearing words like this are not easy. You're going to fail after hearing this. You're not going to succeed immediately after hearing this. If you're here because you want an easy answer to how to discipline yourself enough where life is easier, I'm sorry, there is no easy answer. And that's hard to hear, but there is no easy answer. You're going to have to endure it. You're going to have to fight through it. You're going to have to keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep walking. Don't stop. Find something in your life that you can do. Doesn't matter if you're good at it. Doesn't matter even if you like it. I run. 
That is my answer. That is my physical way of getting back all that positive energy that I feel like I lose when I get down in the dumps. I go for a run. And I mean a long one. A long, hard run. And I have time to reflect. I have time to think. I have time to release energy. Sweat out all those negative vibes that I have in me. When I get done, am I better? Yes. Am I 100% better? No. But I feel a hell of a lot better than I did before I went for that run. Every time. And again, that's discipline. I know when I get down in the dumps, all I have to do is lace up my shoes and go for a long run. And better yet, do it when I don't feel like doing it. Because then, not only did I overcome my mind by, by overcoming something I didn't want to do, but I also did a physical exercise that benefited me in every way possible. But I also take the exercise and I make it a goal. I'm not just running for the hell of it. I make sure that I always have a marathon that I'm signed up for. Now I have a goal. So that run is accomplishing so many different things. By the end of that run, I know I've gotten closer to my goal. I've helped myself mentally and physically. And I've also made sure that I have some discipline with it because I know this is my go-to when I get down in the dumps. And when I'm not down in the dumps, every run is every run. It's just that much better. But it's the best when I'm down in the dumps. You have to find something. And I suggest finding something physical. Something you can keep your hands busy, keep your mind busy, keep your body busy. Go for a long walk. It could be for one hour a day. It'll clear up a lot. I recommend that to everyone. If you're down and you don't feel like doing anything, go for a walk. You can. It can be on a treadmill around your neighborhood. If you, It can be in your house. Take your shoes off, take your socks off, and just walk around the house barefoot at your own pace and do it for an hour. Just pace back and forth. I guarantee you, you're going to feel better after that hour even in your own house because it's the physical activity you're releasing energy and it gives you your mind something to think about you gets the blood flowing get your heart rate up and then after you get the heart rate up you're going to calm down but you, your mind's going to say wow that felt pretty good it got my mind off of things it gives you a little relief does it solve everything no it doesn't but you know what discipline is you do it every time you feel that way then your mind will say this isn't so bad because i know no matter how hard things get, I'm going to be able to go and do my walk. I'm going to go do my run, my bike ride. I'm going to go to the gym. And it doesn't have to be that way. You can read a book. You can go to a movie. I do that a lot. When I get down in the dumps and I've gone for my run and that's not enough, uh, I go, to, I go uh, to a movie all by myself. I never go to the movies with anyone anymore. I, I might take my son, but I like going by myself. It gives me a chance to sit and enjoy the movie. I don't have to worry about talking to someone or meeting someone. I can just sit, enjoy the movie in the darkness. Your heart rate lowers. You're, you're concentrated on the movie. doesn't even matter if you like the movie. Just go. It gets you out the house. It gets you doing something. Because you also got to get in your car. You drive. I recommend. I don't care if it's hot. Roll down the windows. Get some fresh air. Get out the house. Get out of the place that's causing you so much stress and anxiety. And be disciplined about it. Do it every time. And I guarantee you, it will help you. It has helped me tremendously. I am not making this up. I wouldn't tell you this if it didn't work. You have to be disciplined. When you get down in the dumps, you have to find out what's causing that. And the only way you can do it is you have to have a conversation with yourself. And I recommend you have that conversation while you're busy, while you're doing things. I truly feel that. And some people may say, well, I have to go to school. I have to go to work. And I don't feel like talking to people. Well, you know what? That is the uncomfortable struggle that you're just going to have to deal with. I did not feel like going to work today. But I got up and I went. Because I knew I didn't want to talk to anybody. And I work at a place where there's hundreds of people around. And I, it forces you to just suck it up and say, you know what? I can't be rude to everybody all day. But also, it's nobody's business what I'm going through. I don't feel like explaining myself, but I am going to get up and make an attempt to be a productive person today, no matter how I feel. And you be real. You're not fake. You don't walk up to people smiling and grinning and saying, oh, everything's great. No, you live in your emotion. If you don't want to talk to anybody that day, you don't have to. You didn't go to work for them that day. You didn't go to school for them that day. You didn't go to church for them that day. You didn't go to the store for them that day. You move it, you walk, wherever. You did it for you. You got up that morning for yourself. 
because you need to be a disciplined person. You need to be a productive individual. You need to have positive energy. You need to overcome an uncomfortable situation, an uncomfortable struggle. And the only way to do that is you have to get up, put your shoes on, toughen up, and understand that things that are out of your control are not going to be in your control just because you want them to be. You can't control other people. You can't control the thoughts of other people. You can't intrude your mind into what other people are doing. You can't control if your car is going to get a flat tire that day. You can't control if birds shit all over your car while it's at work. You can't control how much money is in your bank account when it's very low and you want to go and get that extra meal because you're starving. You can't control any of that. What can you control? You can control how you get through each one of your days. No matter what happens, each one of your days can be controlled through discipline. What you put into your life as a constant reminder to yourself this is the routine it's a positive routine it works it works for me and it's going to take you a long time to figure out what that routine is but ultimately the more you do it that's the discipline you're not going to eat junk food you're going to drink healthier drinks you're not going to drink soda all day you're not going to eat snacks all day you're going to exercise more you're going to go for more walks you're going to read more books you're going to stop staring at your phone so much. You're going to stop watching so much television. You're going to stop caring about what other people think. You're going to learn something new every day. You're going to be a positive individual. You're going to help somebody every day. That is discipline because you're going to do it every single day. Only then life is going to get easier and you're going to be able to see life for what it is because you're going to feel like you're much more in control of your life instead of the life being in control of you. Self-discipline is the answer and the key to everything. Salute to you all. The brave never fall.